Hello, everyone. Zero fossil fuel. I've come out to the garage for a few minutes. Uh, this afternoon, I went shopping at a large hardware store, and I found a new 3-inch pulley to go onto the new motor for the vacuum pump. It was uh, about $12 at the local hardware store. A little bit steep in price, but uh, donation driven, and I was able to just say, okay, I'll take that. And I appreciate all the donations that have come in because it's made all of this possible. I'm going to show you this in a minute. This is the original pulley, smaller pulley that was on here that was too small for this application. Here's the original 4-inch pulley that the, the guy who previously owned this burned out the original motor with. And this 3-inch pulley is actually the correct size that was probably supplied with this unit when it was first made. So it's back to the original with a one-third horsepower motor now instead of a one-quarter. And I want to show you something, a thing of beauty. Plug it in. Spent a few minutes wiring this up a little while ago. <laughs> How sweet is that? Now, back here, there's a dryer on the outlet of the compressor. This was originally designed to be used as a paint sprayer compressor. This little device right here is a pressure relief valve. If I put my finger over the tip, the pressure is going to build up, and you hear it escaping out of the release valve once it reaches the maximum pressure. And the motor labors quite a bit. The bench starts to shake. You can hear the motor labor a little bit more. All right. So watch what happens when I put my thumb over the vacuum inlet tube. It just gets quiet, and that's all it does. And there's virtually no gas escaping on the outlet tube back here because I've blocked the inlet. Also, the motor is not laboring, so it creates the vacuum and it holds it but it doesn't really have to do a lot of work. So in a real-world application, in an automobile, for instance, once it comes up to the vacuum, there's very little power being drawn from the engine. See that? Okay, that's it for that. Uh, I did, I mentioned to somebody in a text response about these PVC one-way valves that I found. Really neat. Three-quarter inch threaded fitting. Okay, Here's a couple of uh, barbed barbed fittings that go on here. All right. This is the removable uh, removable section and here is the actual one-way valve. There, you can see that better now. With the spring on it. And that just simply assembles like that, and this piece, I can do this with one hand here, well, you get the idea, it screws in, and it, uh, this, this piece here ends up being flush with the end, the, uh, the size of the port inside is very large, and it will flow a lot of gas, which I anticipate to be generating with this. Um, these were quite a steal. I found these at Lowe's hardware store. They were discounted to four dollars, regularly nine eighty something, almost ten dollars each. Definitely worth the price. I will find out who makes these because these are discontinued. Also, uh, an air control valve. I want, want to try using this to regulate the vacuum underneath the hood being applied being applied to the cell. See if I can't do a, a very simple cell with a partially regulated vacuum and uh, I'll experiment with this. Also four dollars. Regular price twenty five dollars on closeout. They had at, at this particular Lowe's they had probably I want to say twenty or twenty five of these on the shelf. Great deal. Um, a few more barbed fittings. We have some brass straight quarter quarter inch barbed fittings. A couple of uh, nylon quarter inch right angle fittings. 
You can see here I have some reinforced PVC tubing, which is, uh, I think it's one quarter inch inside diameter. Yes, it is one quarter inch inside diameter. Should be large enough to to uh, feed the HHO to the intake manifold and uh, thick enough to prevent it from collapsing under the high vacuum. Uh, is that it? Yeah, I guess that's about it for now. There have been a few other few other little odds and ends that I've been able to purchase. Oh, I want to mention, coming Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, December 18th, Santa Claus is coming to bring me an Astron VS50M that I found on Craigslist for 150 bucks delivered. Poor guy I stole it from. But uh, it's going to sit right there where my Variac is now, and it will take up pretty much that whole space right there because this thing is one big-ass power supply. Variable regulation from 2 volts to 15 volts, 37 amps continuous, 50 amps intermittent. I'll be able to do some pretty serious testing on the bench with that. And again, donation driven. So please keep it coming, folks. I really appreciate it. I am definitely putting it to good use. I'm actually thinking of getting a digital video camera. Yes, folks, a real digital video camera to uh, record some actual high quality video with high quality audio for replay on YouTube. That's it for now. I've had enough of the coal. I'm going in. I will be back soon.